I think if you had asked me what stressed me out when I first started YouTube, it would be like uploading videos and editing and filming and figuring out what to post next. And today it's all over a Teletubbies parody account. I don't know how to intro this. I don't know how many of you are caught up to speed, but this is the final episode of Teletubbies Fact, at least here on my channel. I don't know if the story will continue elsewhere, um, but the account has been suspended and I will no longer be talking about this story after the conclusion of this video. I felt like I owed it to you guys, especially after uploading multiple, multiple videos on this topic that amassed close to half a million views in like the week and a half that I had them up. I was so excited like 12 hours ago to make this update. So let's just get into where we left off. And if you are one of the people who is already caught up to speed, I'm going to tell the story the way that it ended for me and then I will talk about the account getting suspended and everything that transpired after that. I do feel like I owe this to my audience because I have been covering this story for over a week now and because really it's been kind of a staple in my content in that time period. Um, I also feel like I kind of want to explain how I'm feeling. So if you're wondering why I'm even uploading this, it's to bring some closure to the situation, at least for myself. Where we had left off in part two was that Kevin Sampson had taken over the account and Kevin was the final remaining child of Teletubbies Facts. I had mentioned all of the dates in the like note thing that we were left on the account and shortly after this, shortly, I think after my video was up, Sharon Teletubby tweeted a list of all of the numbers that were in that note, just sort of reaffirming what we thought was correct. I still don't know if it was supposed to be that it was 112, you know, leaning towards 11 to November 2nd. Other than the tweet from the Sharon account, just sort of letting us know that we were on the right track, there was really nothing else. I know that the location of the account was really, really, really quickly changed to like CU111717, which a lot of people realize meant CU November 17th, 2017. Also in this time frame, the like Teletubbies Fact main account really briefly change its profile picture to the same photo, but on Tinky Winky's head it says, thank you, Kevin. And no one, for the most part, caught this. It was just a really, really, really creepy add-on to this whole thing. I don't know which date this was, I'm sorry. November 5th at 12.53 p.m., we have rest in peace, Kevin Sampson. I'm truly sorry it had to be this way. We live in a cruel world. Meaning, obviously, Kevin is gone. So whether this means that Gary came back to kill him or the game was ending with Kevin Sampson being killed off, we weren't really sure. But of course, I think everyone assumed that Gary had come back and killed his final son, Kevin. Whether, and a lot of people kind of theorized that Kevin wasn't even real. Kevin was just one of Gary's multiple personalities. And I can believe that, but I also think that it's interesting that there was the third child. He had mentioned the third child. There were only two children dead in the note. And then there was this third child brought into play telling this whole story. Also during this time frame, and I'm sorry, I didn't catch these screenshots myself. Someone else had and sent them to me. The account had tweeted desensitization followed by when it happens to one of your precious loved ones, then maybe you will start caring. Also roughly in this time frame, the Gary Samson account had tweeted out, thank you, Kevin. And something I hadn't really noticed before, um, number one, a lot of you pointed out that Gary Samson's location in the Twitter bio was Vail, Colorado, which in the note that Kevin posts, he talks about his dad going to Colorado for one of his many like psychiatric visits. But the Gary Sampson account, the numbers after it, of course, equal up to November 1st, 2017. I don't think there was anything else in this time frame. If there is, I will be popping it up on screen right now. It's kind of hard to figure out if there are any missing puzzle pieces because the Reddit for this kind of died and no one was posting the screenshots as much. A lot of you guys were sending me DMs, but my DMs are currently flooded and I'll explain why. But I'm gonna talk about the last 24 hours of my life because they partially revolved around this story. I guess technically two days ago when you're watching this, I had crashed 
crashed most of the day because I had stayed up all night the night before and I slept most of the day to be honest with you just because of some stuff I had going on and I woke up to a bunch of people letting me know there was some Teletubbies facts updates as well as I checked my DMs and there was a DM from the account. The only tweet I think that the account posted publicly was the letters C-U-N-1-3-D-Z and everyone was like, is this a license plate number? Is this like a code or something? And no one could really figure it out. The account sent me this picture and it super creeped me out, like really creeped me out. At first it looked like a door viewfinder to me, like someone had held up a flashlight to a door viewfinder and my front door is gray, so automatically this freaked me out. And I think that the best part about this story is even though I knew it was a story, it totally weirded me out. And even though I knew none of it was real, it didn't make it any less scary. So I see this weird picture I can't make out. I'm trying to like adjust the settings on it and trying to figure out what it is and it just looks like a white blob. And then under Underneath, I have the following message. The letters I W Y V Y O T L C U N 1 3 D Z. So, about 22 ish hours ago, when I'm filming this, I had tweeted, What a night! Crazy Dear David updates, which can be the next video if you guys want it to be. And Teletubbies Fact DM'd me. And then a little bit later, I had tweeted, I know this is just pure coincidence, but hear me out. Someone call me down. I know Teletubbies fact is just a story, but I'm having a panic attack right now. I post the message that I had received and then talk about like how I had fell asleep for most of the day, literally woke up to this message, so groggy, so confused. It looked like a peephole. It was super duper 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 freaking creepy. When I came downstairs, a few strange things had happened. And this is my personal story. I in no way think that somebody broke into my house and did all of this but I gotta tell you this is why I loved the story so much because it creeped me out it made me paranoid about things in my life that shouldn't have scared me that bad and I think that's the sign of a true good scary story or a good scary anything and so I came downstairs and my back door balcony was open and that had really weirded me out because that's never happened before. Christian's never left it open. I sure as heck didn't leave it open. This is when I decided to sit down and decode the message um, that I had received. And it was just a bunch of letters, obviously, but someone let me know that they had also received a message saying, you're on the list. She was a subscriber of mine. Her name is Kelsey. She's been talking me through a ton of this. So hi, Kelsey, if you're watching. And basically, this is the DM that she received. She had kind of mocked them and they had sent this really sinister response like I hear you like cats here's one I strangled with my bare hands but the picture that they sent was of a bird and the last part of the note was you're on the list in the DM that I was sent was YOTL so I was like you're on the list. He said this a million and ten times. You're on the list. That makes sense. I went through the comments of the public tweet that he had written saying C-U-N-13-D-Z and a lot of people were saying this says see you in 13 days because earlier he had posted see you on like November 17th I think it was um, 2017 and now he's saying see you in 13 days and everyone had already decoded this so I knew what it said at the end of my note obviously. So that was you're on the list. See you in 13 days. Days. and I could not figure out what IWYV meant but I think it is I watched your videos or I watched your video you're on the list see you in 13 days I was so sufficiently freaked out at this point I couldn't do anything for the rest of the day it was the scariest thing in the entire world and if I had made this video a few hours ago you guys would literally see me on the brink of like scared tears because it was so freaky somebody kind of manipulated the photo in a way that it looked like it was a Teletubby eye and then I realized that made so much more sense um, my mind automatically just jumped to the first circular thing I could think of and for some reason that was the viewfinder on my door. So really freaking weird still and that message wasn't any less creepy and I sent the account this message along the lines of like you know what I had decoded I watched your videos you're on the list see you in 13 days and then I asked what the picture was of because I said it looks an awful lot like my viewfinder but I know that's not the case I went outside to take a photo of my viewfinder because I wanted to see if it did a similar effect I wanted to see if this was some sort of like viewfinder on a door because that was just what my mind automatically jumped to and I don't know why not that I thought it was my viewfinder, but maybe that it was a viewfinder on the door, like a peephole. 
So I went outside to do that and I found all of my packages outside of my door And what was weird was the way that they were displayed in front of my door. None of this is fake by the way This is all genuinely stuff that happened to me in the last 24 hours. This is just kind of a ramble stream of consciousness This is what happened to me. All of my packages were like barricaded outside of my door I had ordered some bins for storage purposes and it was like two big boxes um, and then a third big box and it was like everything was like blocking me from leaving the apartment although it wasn't I could obviously move them and then on top was this Amazon box and I had ordered some fleece for the guinea pigs along with some hairspray and just essentials that I needed and the box was wide open I mean wide open like the lid was sitting upright the box was open I could see the guinea pig fleece and this was probably just the tape not being sticky enough but it just added to the creep factor of everything else already happening to me in this day I could go on and on and on about how bizarre yesterday was for a million and ten reasons somebody said I'm genuinely terrified but I also feel like you're pranking us and I said not at all like I said Teletubbies fact isn't my story I wouldn't be adding to it or trying to take it over this is all 100% happening this afternoon I had taken the dogs out for a walk I had stayed off of social media for a while I had a meeting with my manager I was just doing work living life and I came back to about a million notifications that two minutes before I had gotten on a Twitter randomly, um, the Sharon Teletubby account had tweeted out, I am deeply saddened to inform you all that Teletubby's updates has been suspended. Thank you all for the fun ride this was. I literally quoted the tweet with like no or like crying emoji or something because I was so sad. I was so invested in this story and literally that message I had gotten earlier was so creepy and I, I have to be really honest with you guys. The reason that what I'm gonna say next stings so bad is because I didn't feel like I was ruining the story. I didn't feel like I was intruding or stepping on anyone's toes. In fact, I felt like I was a part of the story, especially after that last DM, like completely unprovoked. I hadn't sent anything to the account. I hadn't said anything to the account directly, like hadn't added them, anything like that. And they sent me that message with that weird code letting me know they were gonna be there in 13 days. and. That along with, you know, immediately after my video, the Sharon account had like verified all of the numbers that I had pointed out in the last video. If I was ruining the game or messing it up in any capacity, I certainly wouldn't have thought that like I would have gotten that last message, you know what I mean? Um, because he knew I was theorizing about it and freaking out about it and um, the person who owns the account is known for blocking people and I honestly, if I had been blocked, I probably never would have touched it because that probably means that whoever runs the account doesn't want me on it. But Sharon Teletubby quoted that tweet saying, I am deeply saddened to inform you all that Teletubby's back, or Teletubby's updates, I'm sorry, has been suspended. Thank you all for the fun ride this was. They quoted it and said, all thanks to at Loeybug. During this time frame, apparently the Gary account also tweeted out, you will pay for this Judas. And then I was promptly blocked on both accounts and I immediately tweeted that I had no clue what they were talking about. I asked the Sharon account to DM me because I wanted to see if I could help in any way. Um, they have, the person who owns this account has broken character before and this was in regards to like people overthinking the story supposedly. Um, but I wanted to see if I could help. I wanted to understand what I had done, especially since it felt like, you know, 12, 24 hours before this, uh, I was getting an extra piece to the puzzle. I guess I just felt like the videos definitely weren't like being pushed away or it certainly didn't seem like the videos were being discouraged in any capacity. The Sharon Teletubby account tweeted, you are single-handedly the reason why Teletubby's updates got suspended. What's strange is this story is changing every time that I turn off the camera. And so here in a second, I'm gonna stop reading tweets and I'm just gonna give you my final thoughts as they are in this moment. Um, the account tweeted another thing at me. I don't remember what it was at this point. I honestly was missing out on screenshots. It was along the lines of go and make another exciting conspiracy theory about this or something. And then the account tweeted, do you realize how stupid you all look arguing with a Teletubbies account on Twitter? I mean, seriously, look at yourselves. Then they tweeted Teletubbies updates was a joke until you people added in fake deep and I made it up as I went along. There you go, Einstein's. He then responded to one of my tweets and said, I ruined the account and now he ruined the story. You get no ending, you get no conclusion. Happy November 7th. Finally, literally four minutes ago, this is happening as I'm filming this video. 
The Sharon Teletubby account tweeted, okay, I'm not actually mad at at Lowy Bug. I'm just being a butt <laughs> for some final laughs. Honestly, thank you all for the last three months. I put a lot of time and effort into that account and I'm a bit emotional. It had to end the way it did. It's not Loie's fault. I can't tell what's real and what's not anymore. Um, I certainly believed that the story wasn't there from the start and I believed that the account was kind of writing it in real time, but that didn't make it any less fascinating and I really hope that if the person who ran the account is watching this video, they know I was so genuinely invested in this story. I was so, I mean, with everything, I was so obsessed with it. I woke up and I checked it. And I think that that speaks volumes. And if you are watching this, please do not give up because this one alternate reality game that wasn't even an alternate reality game didn't work out. This was so cool and I'm so sad it had to end. They also sent Rainbot a DM, but I'm not gonna get into that because that's not my part of this story. Um, so I'm left sitting here feeling like I ruined a perfectly good alternate reality game. And I know in my heart I didn't. Um, I was fascinated by this. I loved sharing it with you. I hope that in the end, I brought nothing but good stuff to that page. I hope um, that this final string of tweets is true and that they aren't actually angry because um, if they truly feel that I ruined it in any way, if they truly feel that I was ruining the game, um, I wish I had known because it certainly didn't feel like that. It felt like I was in on it and I was having so much fun and I know that the person who was running the account was certainly having fun. but. I loved this story and it scared me so bad to a point where I knew it was fake but it still spooked me to no end and that's why if this game continues if there's a new account if there's anything like that I'm not going to be following it um, I won't be posting about it I know I didn't do anything wrong but I hate thinking that because I was excited about something and making videos about something um, that it brought too much attention and ruined the fun for everyone and I feel really bad. I wish I didn't feel really bad. I wish um, that I could look at this as someone who's just trolling which is now what I think it is but regardless I wanted to give the finale to the story and I guess I was involved in the finale of this story. So maybe this can officially put to rest all of the claims that maybe I was Teletubby's fact. I'm trying so hard to put together my thoughts here at the end of this story. And I think that what's so crazy is like thinking about this, Dear David is gonna end and Dear David has an update coming too. All of these like viral horror stories eventually do end, whether it's really quickly and there's only like one video about it or whether it goes over the course of like weeks eventually everything ends and this story ended i just wish it had ended differently i don't know if the tune will change tomorrow and i'll be back to being the reason why the account was suspended but needless to say i'm in a pretty down mood tonight and i've been pretty upset about this most of the night um, not because I'm being blamed, not because I'm angry, but because in my heart, like, I just, I, I would hate to be the reason that someone's fun was taken away. And that's why from here on out, um, Dear David will continue going on. I've never received anything from Adam Ellis that indicates that he wants me to stop the updates in any way. Um, but I... I don't think I'm gonna do any more videos on these sort of alternate reality games. Um, if I find a weird Twitter account in the future, I don't know what's gonna happen. I, I don't know if this is the end of the viral scary stories. The account was posting some pretty dark stuff. Um, no, I don't really blame myself, but I can't shake the awful feeling that someone else might genuinely believe that and whether or not it's true it's what they feel and it's what they it's their truth so um i don't know i'm a sensitive little creature and i'm sure whoever is running this account knows that i hope you guys enjoyed this as much as i did i was so excited every time i got to sit down and film another video about this i was so freaking thrilled to tell this story to you and 
all of these final updates don't change that. I am sad and right now I'm a little hurt, but no matter what, this whole thing was incredible um, and I'm glad I got to share it with my audience. So that is all I have for you today. I'm gonna go edit this, upload it first thing in the morning and um, this is game over. So I hope you enjoyed this final update. If you did, give me a thumbs up and please, thumbs up, <laughs> this sweater is huge. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you all so, so much and I'll see you in the next video.